Too many good things are thrown away because people don't understand. probably if you follow my channel has seen I had this Amazon electric heater I hung in my shop that was the down and dirty quick way to get something up there it's $100 and it's enough to kind of keep things going it's not very noisy it's running right now you might be able to hear it it's a little buzz but not horrible my goal in this whole thing is to build a waste oil burner when I can cooking oil engine oil all that stuff I can kind of pour into a bucket store and use through the winter I've probably got 15 gallons over the whole the course of a year plus some other people bring me theirs plus the cooking oils that I've probably been throwing away or dumping somewhere all these things can be reused you know you'll hear a whole lot of people talk about recycling recycling is the absolute worst form of the R's the first thing you want to do is use less reduce and then reuse things then if you once they're completely spent you recycle too many good things are thrown away because people don't understand. A couple things that I've got here. A little rotor. And I'm doing this on the fly. So what I come up with, you'll see, is crazy. Now, I've also got a brake drum. My idea is I will have the burner here with, of course, a pool of oil. So I'll put a forced air burner through the bottom of it to pull off that oil and then blow up through now, once I get the drum the way I want it, I want to set this rotor on top, and I'll probably add some self-aligning so I can just drop this on and off for a couple reasons. One, this will cover up that area and still allow air flow here, plus all the airflow here. And this is a pretty large piece, so it's got a pretty good size thermal mass. But the whole idea of this is I want to make this compact burner system for it. Now, then I can put this in a box later on, or or something. I also want to know how efficient these burn. Most of the time when you see these oil burners, they burn where they have almost no scent and no smoke, which really kind of amazes. But when you start burning more and more efficiently, that smoke and things goes away. So the goal is to see what can I do. Now I've got these items and I've got several more laying around. So as I come up with the idea, you'll see me grab stuff I'll come over and explain my idea of why I'm doing what I'm doing. All that good shit. But right now, this is my basis. This will be the side. So more important, more important than having the money to buy stuff is having a junk pile out back. So I found some things I think might be useful. Just some... Make sure you see that. Not a whole lot there. Something I might be able to use. Another drum, same as this one. Uh, this one's been sitting out. You can see it's rusting a little more. Of course, some random pipe, a couple pieces for a valve, which I think I do have some fittings so I can make that work out. This is the important one, though. I think I found the perfect thing. What's that? There's an old wheelbarrow. Get this tire off of it and cut half of it. And this dish is perfect, so it's shaped exactly the way I want. My whole idea is I want to pull air through this caliper, all right? So it holds it here. The oil's at the bottom. I want to actually cause a draft, so it'll pull and then blow this out the top. So a little blower I've got. I'm going to hook to this thing through the center. All right. Try and push that air up. So as low as I can get it, pushing the air up to try and create a venture exhaust here. Again, you know, if I need to make this higher, I've got that. This 
point the drum is almost just going to be a stand. The big deal right now is I need to get this tire and this thing cut apart. So I want to cut that inner and I'm going to leave this rim whole for now. Get it all cleaned out and we'll see how this dog dish looks. And this dish looks for actually creating where I'm going to hold my oil. I think that's, this is not going to be a big here. This is going to be a small unit. I want to be able to build a cabinet at one point and move it around or take it outside to cook on or I could heat with or, or regard the things. I might put a vent somewhere, maybe in the door as a temporary type vent so I can take it on and off when I want to burn it inside here for heat. I have that direct vent. side all right so this side has a hole of course with the valve stem so that's kind of no good to me here's another little toy I bought this is this is the one thing I'm gonna have to buy and it's just a small blower uh, like $15 on Amazon get the thing away and hopefully that's enough air if not we'll see so right now if I put that drum in there and the caliper now. Let's go. Shirt, all dirty. Which of course you can buy these. A bonfire. Get those. They got just the logo on the back. The cost of a t-shirt, to be honest with you, is too high. I don't expect anybody to buy it. These hoodies are right in line with anywhere else you're going to buy them in the stores. Great quality. I, I really like them. They're warm. They feel good to wear. And again, the prices are about right. I've got this design. I've got my logo design with the RBG. And I've also got a color design. So if you like those, check them out on Bonfire. Road Beer Garage there, man. All right, so a heater looks... This actually works out pretty well. Um... I just need something now to direct the wind once it comes through here to make it go in. Or actually, let me think about this for a second. too small it's really too small too and a bigger pipe might just have the thing so a little exhaust pipe oh yeah so that might be exactly what I need so my thought process of all of this could be totally wrong but is I want to draw air through the caliper and force and have like a suction here so it actually pulls that into a tube so I could still put the air straight from the bottom through here full flow into this pipe and in all honesty the higher this pipe is the better that's what i'm going to do that's exactly how i'm going to put this thing together i'm going to run a hose underneath with my little blower here blowing air through this i'm going to put a section of this pipe or get another section from outside and i want to see if i can tune that up. So I'll put a clamp or something just to, to light the thing. Hey, you know what? Trial and error with fire is fun. All right, so one thing I did, I went ahead and cut the bead off. I'm trying to get that to drop down in there and fit. So it's a little bit left. So I'm going to take and grind that off. I think what I may do is put that in here and see if I can get that to spin a little bit and put the grinder on it. Just kind of try and figure this out. The MT conduit fits perfect on it. Watch that edge too, that's image is sharp. Oh nice, okay. It's great when you get that grinder just the right angle to sit there and spin itself. Close, close, close. Yeah, 
that looks good. Actually, that looks great. Just where it just now sits on top of it. Again, I put four line up so that thing just drops in place. That centers itself. No reason to do any more to it. So I could actually use this EMT, just put a bend in it and connect my blower right to the edge of it, which would be pretty good. Uh, I've got to be real honest with you, I think that's what I'm going to do. But I, actually, I'll leave that bushing in just like I am. I put my bend in this thing and I'll allow it, you know, this to slide on it so I could put a a set right here which that'll be sitting at the bottom of that drum I just put that set in put four legs on this thing good to go little 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 stuff as you start building this is what makes this kind of fun is just I've got a pile of garbage here we're gonna turn some turn it into something oh yeah that's that's got it so now to bend this without kinking it and I do not have a bender all right so not happy about what I had to do but was careful with it and didn't film it so I had to heat the back side and you see it did kink a little I don't think it's going to be an issue for the air I'm blowing out of it so what I did was I slowly heat it around the outside of this I got just a map gas this is a thin wall so it actually took the heat pretty well got it nice and red and just kind of slowly bent as I ran that torch around to give it a gradual bend the burner the type burner that I'm using it's kind of an experiment I want to see if I can cause it to draw and make a turbine style um, if it doesn't work out no big deal what I'll do is I'll I'll cap that off and I'll drill smaller holes to actually create a orifice to actually blow out that way so we'll just change the design a little bit what I want to do is see if I can get a, a blue flame with this thing or at least burn it I want to try and burn it as efficiently as possible we'll give that a quick tack in place plug your welder in That'll be enough to do what I want. That gets me to this point here. Okay, that looks good. So now, look at this piece, where I could easily put this on, and again, grind that off, I want to leave an air gap so that I can actually blow and I'll have a gap here that allows everything to kind of suck. That'll, that'll cause some, may cause some issues here but I can close these up as I want if I need to. So right now I'm just going to weld this straight to the edge of this and then I can take my tube and run it, run it up inside of this and see exactly where I need for the proper flow. Gives me that little bit of adjustment. So here it is. Proof of concept. My little blower here on the end. Get good airflow out of it. I should get my smoke, but I do think I feel a little bit of draw there. So by the time we get heat and a fire going, we should really be able to focus that up there too. I'm considering grinding me a slot right here, big enough for a pipe or a hose, to, big enough for a tube to go in. It's not exactly right, but I think I can make it work. <laughs> I've got it right now. I'm just gonna line it up. that look huh oh man all right cut this off that's about where i need it to be i want to put a little weld bead on that uh ground ground that's important ground if anybody ever tells you that you can weld out of ground they're wrong put my oil down in here rags get it get it burning 
start my drip and then turn my blower on and I'll see moon we'll see what it does a couple more things I got to do and we're gonna fire this up this could be dangerous stay tuned all right guys so I'm about ready to try this thing I've got just a small cup here enough that I can keep a drip going and I've got some in the tank I know it's got a little paint on it. I'll burn that off. But I'm going to take this outside. See if I can get that to light. Put the cover over it. And uh, see what this thing sounds like. So forgive me. But I'm going to have to. Uh, can't do this one handed. So. this on it and see and turn the fan on <laughs> the fans definitely doing some good you can watch the smoke clear up. You can actually hear it just a little bit. Or it's sucking fuel from down here. And maybe they will suck too much, but next thing I want to do is I want to see if I can put way more air and see if that makes it do what it's supposed to do. See if I am running out of air or if I'm running. <coughs> so I've got an endless supply here, it seems. like with that so a couple issues what I have right now one is I just don't have quite enough air to make the thing burn once I threw the air to it it seemed to burn pretty well and I think it would continue to get better if I could keep that air blowing for a few minutes <coughs> I didn't have that opportunity so evidently that small pipe is not going to be enough I'm gonna to have to put something a little bigger uh, that's okay I can I can understand that so now I need to get all that burnt out emptied and get it back in here and go with a little different design so see how the next one works my first try was not 100% successful. It did burn, but not quite as clean as I want it to. We'll try and give it a little something different. I'm gonna put a cap on this, and I'm gonna drill some holes. So we get several holes around it, and I'll probably still try and use my little, my little fan for right now. Uh, I do have a bigger one. I got a secret weapon, so we can throw something else at it if this doesn't work. But I need a little bit higher volume of air to go in, and. So there's a couple designs and I like the thought that I will really want this thing to have some blue flame I want it I want to see it really burning everything off I want to go ahead and take my plasma and cut the face out of this and then drop that down into it and weld underneath this then I'm gonna weld right here okay and I'm gonna make this burner so I'm gonna this is gonna be my my burner and I will actually drill holes up and down this all right so got it ground down I cut a few slots and it's a little wide that where it fits in so my idea is I'm gonna take the air hammer and I'm gonna force this down into it put a little tack weld on these four slots that I cut those will also hopefully help it kind of 
meat in. Once I do that, fill these in. That should still be plenty for the oil. All right, a little different on this one. Instead, I've got two drums and same setup at the bottom, but now I have a drilled burner to go along with either the fan that I'm using there or a slightly better one if I need to go find one. Right here, I'm gonna put a 90 on this, weld it, probably a second pipe like so. And it gives me a couple options of how I'll connect my blower. Again, the small blower first. We'll put it in there. See if it works. If it does, it does. If it doesn't, well, you know, we tried. But first thing is get this cleaned up. Get the. Uh, gives me perfect really really hopeful that this little blower will work so put those two together the oil from the, the caliper or the drum itself caliper I, I bet you I've said caliper a thousand times I don't meant rotor earlier when I put this taller stack on uh, kind of have a feeling if I put this thing in a enclosure as a burner and put a vent tube out maybe some this would be a pretty solid little burner Completely burnt off. The, the smoke we saw earlier was just the smoke burning off the drums. The brake plug and everything from here is sitting in. Yeah. So, look at the fire box. I look up here. This is just pretty solid. That little bitty fan is all it takes. There you go. Jump around the house in there. Half day's work. <laughs> But yeah, there it is burning, guys. It's, I mean, it's clean. No smell. I don't smell, do you smell anything? Huh. 
I mean, and I'm telling you, it burnt that off pretty quick. I'm gonna open it all the way, and go ahead and pour some through it. So that's got me open completely up, as fast as I can feed it in. You can kind of see how fast it's dropping. Again, I don't have my, everything set up the way I should. But yeah, I mean, it's, I'm in almost completely clear, clear frame. You can't even see the flame, but definitely putting the heat off. You see a little blue flame right there. Come on that, but there's the burner. Like I said, about a day's work, 